The Bibbulmun Track is the pinnacle hiking experience in Western Australia. The track consists of over 1,000 kilometres of world-class trails and beautifully diverse landscapes. It draws in hikers from across Australia and the rest of the world. Typically those who attempt the Bibbulmun end-to-end take somewhere between five and eight weeks to finish. My good mate Mackenzie and I decided to challenge ourselves with a three-week completion time. This is the Bibbulmun Track. Not a bad morning. We got the coffee. We got a fire that we've rekindled from last night. We're on day 18, 50 kilometers ahead, but we're gonna enjoy this for a little bit before we start. And we are off. Day 18 begins. Super excited. We've got four full days left. Hitting up about 48 kilometers today. It's a bit sad leaving the fire back at the hut, but uh, we're on the road. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. If it is a bit chilly, and um, we've got, by all accounts, a pretty fun day today. A few climbs, hopefully get some reception, and uh, yeah, we'll be going into Bannister for our, for our sleeping hut. So should have reception there as well, which will be nice. Yeah, only a couple of days to go after that. So we get moving. Six eight. Day 18 was forecasted to be a hot one. And with almost 50 kilometers to cover and a couple mountains to summit, we knew it wasn't gonna be easy. This section of track had recently been burnt off. And so the landscapes were barren and not as lush and beautiful as we had been used to over the last week or so. Regardless, we were excited for some good views as we knew we'd be climbing up some decent sized mountains today. The first of which being Mount Wells. Made it to Mount Wells hut. <clears throat> Mount Wells hut, which is a bit of a different one. From what we hear, it's an old, fire lookout tower which is pretty obvious looking at that but the hut itself has got a door and four walls so it's probably an old quarters of some hut it's got a full um, kitchen and a hut very cool about 15 k's in today we just had a nice juicy climb up to the top of this hill but uh pretty beautiful even if it's all burnt off and this hut is pretty cool as well Bicky, yes please. What kind of bickies are these? There was a fire around, we would see it. 28 k's in to day 18. Just climbed up to the top of this mountain. Not sure what it's called, but it's a big ass rock. We're like 550 meters up, which is pretty tall for the area. Each summit we climbed today was exposed and hot but the views were incredible and the trails along the ridge lines were unique and something that we hadn't seen so far along the Bibbulmun track. Mackenzie and I had seen a ton of wildlife so far over the last couple of weeks. One animal that we hadn't seen yet, one that Mackenzie was really looking out for, was an echidna. Mackenzie just walked past this beautiful echidna. It's the only thing he's wanted to see on the track. And I spotted it. I spotted it out of the corner of my eye and called him back. Oh, how good is that? Hey, buddy. We're not here to hurt you, mate. After 18 days on the track, we've finally crossed Albany Highway. Well, we're about to cross it. We've been on the west side of this highway since day one. We're about to cross onto the east side of it for the last three days. Bit of a milestone. We're almost finished the day as well. 45 k's done couple kilometers to the hut super stoked to get there it's been a hot and tiresome day so get across here and then we're almost home the mountains we climbed on day 18 were just a taste of what was to come as we sat around the campfire that night we were both a little bit nervous and excited to tackle some of the hilliest and toughest terrain on the Bibbulmun track over the next few days Day 19 begins, three days left, so freaking stoked. We got uh, 43 k's on the cards today, heading over some of Perth's biggest mountains 
including Mount Cook, which will be kind of cool. The views are absolutely incredible up there, so excited for that. We're ready to keep going. Got another day on the track. We can almost taste the end right now. Um, we're so close to Perth, so keen to get moving. Oh. We had about 44 kilometers to cover on day 19, and it started out relatively flat. We knew that wouldn't continue though, as we headed towards the Mount Cook Ridgeline. All right, day 19, 17 kilometers clocked. Just had a quick break at Narang campsite. We are heading towards Mount Cook now, which is actually the highest point in the Perth region. So that'll be pretty fun, but that does mean we'll be going uphill for a while. But uh, yeah, we're feeling pretty good. We're moving pretty quick this morning. It's been good weather, it's been a lot of fun. So we're gonna start climbing now and uh, next hut will be at Mount Cook. It was another really hot day and we were both dreading and really looking forward to climbing Mount Cook and its surrounding mountains for the rest of the day. Climbing Mount Cook now, insane views, but uh, it's steep and it's hot. Mount Cook, summited. That's the rock pile to show for it. 28 k's done, climbed one mountain. Gotta go down and up a couple more times today, but uh, we'll get to Mount Cook Hut in a sec, which will be our next rest spot. Hot one today, Macca. Warm as. It's warm today. Made it to the Camp Cook campsite for a quick break. So beautiful up here. We're gonna chill here for five or ten, have a much needed drink. What After summiting and descending the giant Mount Cook, we still had two other mountains to climb on day 19. The views from Mount Vincent and Mount Cuthbert were absolutely spectacular. And even if it was really hard going, we enjoyed the beautiful landscapes and stunning bushlands that make up this section of the bib. Ah, we've made it into Monadnox hut and uh, we've got it all to ourselves for now at least, which um, we're hoping for actually. We've had um, many, many nights in a row uh, with full huts and it's always nice to have a bit of peace and quiet, um, spread out a bit. Uh, so we'll get that on our, what is it, third last night? Fire out. Crazy. The freedom of having a whole hut to ourselves spread out all my crap everywhere taking stock of the food situation usually our first priority when we get to camp is get the bed set up while we've got some light then we get the water boiling for our dinner we um are mostly smashing these different dehydrated meals so you just kind of add water and they're good to go and then maca the fire wizard will usually get the fire going before it gets dark as well so super keen for that Sun's gonna set soon, absolutely beautiful out here. We'll have fire, we'll have food, we'll be warm and full, and uh, that's all we could ask for. With only two days left on the track, we we're ecstatic to have a hut to ourselves where we could spread out and really take in the whole experience. Fire, food, and a couple of hot chocolates really hit the spot as we prepared for a massive day 20. Just like that, we're off. See a modded Knox. Day 20 begins, 46 Ks on the cards. Super excited. Second last day. Um, beautiful morning this morning. Probably one of the most pleasant hut experiences we've had, I would say. All to ourselves last night. Coffee, fire this morning. The temperature is very manageable. Um, life is good, really good. So. On we go for another day on the track. As the blisters healed and the bodies adapted, each new day on the bib felt more doable than the last. Day 20 would officially bring us across Brookton Highway and into the familiar Perth Hills. We've made it to Canning Hut for a quick 10 minute breather. It's about 15 kilometers done today. After this, we're heading uh, across Brookton Highway but um, yeah, pretty easy walking so far today. I'm um, very chill and uh, good to have a bit of a bite to eat here and then we're off again. We knew that crossing into the Perth Hills was gonna bring some massive challenges. 
there really wouldn't be many flat sections of track left. We've made it to Brookton Highway, 24 k's in for today. Uh, 20 k's left today, super stoked to cross Brookton Highway and uh, yeah, final steps to Kalamunda baby. With the sun up and the flowers out, we started our traverse through the Darling Scarp towards Kalamunda. Despite the difficulty of the track, this section is one of my favourites. The views were incredible all day long and the abundance of wildlife and plants made the experience hiking here super unique and enjoyable. Alrighty, we're just walking into Barracking Hut, just shy of 50 k's down on day 20. It does look like there's a few people at the hut here today, but um, we'll still enjoy our last night in before we hit 53 or 52 k's up to Kalamunda tomorrow. As we were preparing dinner for our 20th night on track, we realised we were sharing the campsite with a massive school group. We were really looking forward to spreading out and relaxing a bit on our last night on the Bibbulmun track. The next campsite was only about 10 kilometres away, so we decided to push on for another two hours after dinner to get a hut to ourselves. All right, so we got to Berriking Hut. Well, we're just leaving Berriking Hut now, um, but there's a massive school group there, like 15, 20 kids um, and some staff, so we've decided, screw it. We're gonna walk to the next hut in the dark tonight. It's only about eight and a half Ks, but uh, we'll probably get in like 7.38, um, which is fine. Hopefully we don't wake anyone up there. Um, it's gonna end up being like a 57 kilometer day, which is all good. The sun is setting right now. It's gonna get dark, but uh, got our headlamps on, ready to go. Day 20 would end up being the longest day on track so far, as we hiked into the night for the first time in three weeks. Alrighty, we made it to Wiley Hut. We've got it all to ourselves, my God. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a trek, another eight Ks over here from Baracking. Almost 58 Ks total, but uh, stoked to get in, even though it's dark. We've got one day left in the bib and we've just made it super easy. It's only gonna be like 44 Ks tomorrow. So we're gonna get a good night's sleep in. And um, yeah, last day is tomorrow. Good morning of day 21, our last day. Beautiful sunrise, fire, and the coffee's coming. We're on the trail for day 21, aka the last day. 40 odd Ks on the cards, and we're back at Kalamunda. It's a bit emotional, a bit happy, a bit sad, but uh, we've still got a full day of walking ahead of us, so we're gonna do that first and then we'll finish up this afternoon. This was it, our last day, day 21 on the Bibbulmun track. We really couldn't believe that we had made it this far and that in just a short 44 kilometers, we'd be walking in to Kalamunda. We had no reservations on our last day. We ate all our food, we ran the downhills and just tried to take in as much of the track as we could. Here were two hut, the last hut, or the first, depending which end you're starting on, of the Bibbulmun track. How good does that feel, Maka? Bloody brilliant, mate. Only about a year ago, me and Maka first ever met. We went for a trail run to Hewitt's hut, um, had a good yarn, and decided, screw it, we wanted to do the bib, and we wanted to challenge ourselves. Probably six months after that, we did our first ever overnighter at Hewitt's hut again. 
And now we're back at the end of an end-to-end Bilderman track. Pretty damn crazy. It's about 13 kilometers from here to Kalamunda, and then we are done. 21 days of hiking in the books. So stoked. Hiking the last couple kilometers into Kalamunda was pretty surreal. We had experienced so much over the last three weeks, and even though we were super excited to finish and see our friends and family, we knew we would really miss our time on the track. Almost there. This is the final climb. So close. We did it. We walked a thousand kilometers in 21 days. We're just walking in to the Northern Terminus. The Bibbulmun track was both the hardest and the best experience of my life. We definitely had our ups and downs over the 1,000 kilometer hike. All I know is that it wouldn't have been the same without my good mate, Mackenzie. Thank you all so much for coming along on our journey. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>